I'll be showing you step by step how to add the shake effect to your add to cart button. We'll be doing so in a completely free way as well. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. So the way we're going to do this is using a completely free Shopify app. This app is called Rombo and the free plan gives us up to five animations here. So I'll leave a link for this in the description below. You can also find it in the Shopify app store for searching for Rombo. And we'll click install here and I'll show you step by step how to set this up correctly. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install app and let's go through the customization process. So first I wanna click add animations. This opens things up in my Shopify theme editor and I can see to add my first animation, I want to hover and click to select an element. So since I wanna add this to the add to cart button on the top here, if I click on homepage, I can then go down to products and I wanna to go to the default product page here. So I can see my add to cart button here. So if I hover over this, it's going to show me the click to animate highlight. Clicking on that gives me quite a few different animation options. So what we want to do is add the one that says shake. So here under page load, I can see the shake effect. So if I click on shake here, it is adding the shake animation. So when the page is loaded, it is going to shake the add to card button. You could also maybe repeat it here with something such as pulse, wobble, seesaw. Since I think seesaw looks pretty similar to shake here, I can just add this on repeat. So after the initial shake, it's going to repeat, just highlighting the add to cart button even further. I can maybe set a delay here of 100 MS. And to finalize this, I can just hit save in the top right here. And that should add the animation to my add to cart button just like that. I can see it's already working in my preview here. Let's go to an, a full preview of my theme by clicking the three dots in the top left hand side, then going down to view. So let's navigate back to one of my products, scrolling down, clicking on outdoor camping bag. And I can see that the add to cart button does have the shake effect now. So if I was to scroll on this page here, it's always drawing my attention back to the add to cart button, which is the action I want a customer to take. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options. It's going to give you a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can make smarter business decisions. You can get a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So overall, this concludes the video here. It was a super easy to do task using a free Shopify app. We didn't have to go and use any custom CSS or anything like that. And we we're easily able to add this to the add to cart button for all our Shopify products. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.